Hello guys, today all you see is orange. I'm here on the new set of my studio for YouTube videos. Uh, and today we got some photo news for you. Real quick, Leica is bringing out another full frame camera. Okay, this camera is a lot like all the others. Completely, fully mechanical. Yep, no LCD screen. No autofocus, no light meter built in, none of that. It, uh, it also don't have a battery. So, that's good news, I guess. Uh, because it don't have a battery, it, you can never actually have anything wrong with it. Um, except for what the mechanical features go with, and you can always fix mechanical. Uh, it does come with a roll of film, and it starts at... Fifteen. Uh, I'm sorry, five thousand one hundred dollars. So, if you want to spend five thousand one hundred dollars for a fully mechanical Leica camera, go for it. Like I said, it comes with all the film though. But also another good thing about this is that without all all the features stripped, you know, no LCD screen, no autofocus, no and all the controls you have to figure out yourself and do it before you even get the shot and then you have to take the film to develop. If you fuck up, it's your own fault. No one else's because you can't say the light and the camera was wrong because you controlled it. Another story is is that wedding photographers, are they going by the wayside now? And the only reason why is because I found a news article about this uh, company called Wedding, uh, what, what is it called? Wedpix, okay? And apparently, they are making a $4.25 million profit. They're adding at least 25,000 brides a month. And the wedding guests are uploading at least three to five photos every time. So, how, how wedding pics is making their, how wed pics is making their money is, you know, monetizing to the bride and they can print the stuff off. So, are we going out of business? I don't know, um, but it's another way to do. It's you know, pretty much crowdsourcing for wedding now. What don't they have crowdsourcing for? You can get crowdsourcing for money. You know, with uh, what's that one company called? Um, it's very popular. I can't think of the name of it now. I can't understand spelling either. Speak. Kickstarter. Kickstarter. Yes, Kickstarter. Uh, you know, Kickstarter, you know, crowd surfing for that, uh, wedding pics, and I also saw another one the other day that they're wanting to actually have a bridal registry to where instead of giving you the gifts, they want to fund your actual honeymoon. So this is like a whole new thing for wedding photography, you know, for weddings industry in general with crowd surfing for it, but. I don't think we're going anywhere in the anytime soon. There are a few others other than web picks out there, but good for them for making money, but there's nothing that beats a professional photographer that knows what they're doing behind the camera. A lot of um, a lot of other people just, you know, use auto on their cell phones. So, Marco Bazzola, a tinker from Italy, has developed a product he's calling Rulo, and it is the most powerful USB powered light, he says. Um, it renders natural colors, he says, and is about 35 millimeters large, so it's not very big at all. You know, just like a 35 millimeter sensor would be, it's about that big. It comes in three different color temperatures, 3000K, 3500K, and 4500K, and it costs $108 plus $30 shipping. So I'm assuming it's over in UK or someplace farther. Well, he's from Italy, so I'm assuming it's from Italy. Um... Other than that, you know, this, it's a little bit expensive in my opinion, just because you can get on any day on Amazon the newer 160 LED lights, which is powering this set with all the LEDs. And together, total, I haven't even spent $100 on them. So the, I think they're like $33 a piece. So anyways, this is Ralph Johnson saying peace out. Bye.